Hey, happy Sunday as usual, but also happy Father's Day. Um, today I'm going to share about uh, my first trip to the temple. Um, this was, um, so I'm not very good at going chronologically because last week I just felt impressed to share the story of my repentance experience. And so that was um, like June, July, the summer after I was baptized, but now this is like in April. Um, yeah, I was just like, oh, April, I should tell how my first general conference, but that's not like a story. Um, okay, so first trip to the temple, April 2014, about two months um, after being baptized myself. And um, I had, I brought about 50, I think it was 54 names to the temple um, that day for baptisms and confirmations of my ancestors, because I got really into family history for whatever reason, and so... Um, well, the reason is I feel like that's like one of my big purposes um, here as on earth as a member. So anyway, I had a ton of names for my stake youth to do because I was in a family ward at the time and they had a stake youth temple trip because um, we were living about an hour north of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and our temple was the Washington DC temple, which was about, I think it was like a three and a half hour drive. So it's like a day trip if you go to the temple. Um, Okay, so we had all these youth going and I had all these names. Super exciting, right? Um, couple things about this trip. First point to make is I almost didn't go because my nanny family, like my mom boss and my dad boss, they couldn't go on this trip um, for, I forget, work or whatever. They couldn't go. And I had this image of what I wanted my first trip to the temple to be and I wanted it to be my entire nanny family all of us taking a road trip down to the temple all going in um, and doing this together um, they were a big part of my life and my conversion and so that's what I wanted and so I wasn't sure I was gonna go on this youth trip um, because it wasn't gonna be what I wanted um, and then I just had at some point this realization of, oh my gosh, I am being selfish because the temple is there for us to go in to, I don't know, there's so many purposes. That's not the point of this video. There's so many reasons to go to the temple and, um, that is for me, I believe it's like the greatest way to serve our heavenly father as Latter-day Saints. Um, so it's important that we go every chance that we get, um, no matter what the circumstance. And so I recognized that and I was like, oh, oh duh, I'm going. Like, it doesn't matter. It's not about me. It's not my first temple experience. This is just going to the temple to perform ordinances for the dead. And that's what's important. And especially the fact that it was for my own family names. Like, I am sealing my family together for eternity. And any chance I get, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna do the work. So I decided to go on the trip. Then, of course, same as my baptism, Satan is like, oh yeah, Kelly is going on the trip with the teenager she nannies, who she's really close with, and so, duh, I'm just going to, you know, give them a little friction and try to ruin this trip for Kelly, because this is something really awesome. <laughs> So that happened. We got in an argument the night before we left um, for the temple. And because I, like, we had planned this trip. Um, I wanted to make it a special experience for him to create a love of the temple for him and to create a positive memory, right? And, you know, so I'm making all these plans. I, I make, like, a mix CD or something, or, like, a playlist. No, not a mix CD. I make, like, a playlist of music we like so you can, like, have a good time. You know, it's, like, a long drive there and back. And um, then we get into this argument and uh, whatever, trip comes we're gonna go and he's so mad at me being a teenager that he won't even sit in the front passenger seat with me he's gonna sit in the back and he wants to like he's like not talking to me and so I'm like this isn't how it's supposed to be like this is supposed to be a good like fun trip I'm gonna have to drive this like three and a half hours like by myself not talking to anybody like this is gonna be miserable this ruins the whole thing and I'm like crying. I'm so upset about how this is going. And I call my missionaries. I'm just crying. I'm like, I don't even want to go. This is so dumb. This is awful. This is not how I want it to be at all. And they were like, well, they prayed with me over the phone. And they're like, Kelly, just get in the car and just go. So I'm like, okay. And so I do. 
the teenager sleeps in the back the whole time, darn kid. And so I'm just, you know, listening to music and singing along and whatever, making this three and a half hour trip, which is fine. I'm used to driving far, so that's totally fine. Um, and we get there. First time I've ever been to a temple. We get, we pull into the parking lot. Immediately I feel happy and at peace and excited and the whole trip I have not felt any of these feelings it was not a fun trip and he wakes up and everything's fine no argument he's not mad at me we both feel happy joyful comforted like we just feel great um all the youth there some of my like adult friends from the church are there although like they're helping but I'm like performing you know baptisms and so we perform the ordinance, we get all of the kids and me get the baptisms and the confirmations done for like 50 some of my family members. Um, and then me and the teenager have a super fun trip home. We're like jamming out to music, um, stop and grab food. Pretty sure one of our temple trips, we like ran out of gas. So I don't forget if that was this one or not because we went on a few. So um, it's, I don't know. I mean, it was an awesome trip and a couple of lessons learned, right? Um, and so I just wanted to share those with you and of course, thank you for listening and I'm pretty sure there will be at least like a few more stories. Um, so look forward to that, but I'm sure my conversion story will, well, it's ongoing, but the videos will end at some point. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Love you so much.